a very good evening to all the viewers out there uh, extending a very warm welcome to all of you for the second episode of uh, margadarshi the educational series 2022 organized by trisha classes in association with daiju world 24 by 7 uh, viewers uh, you might be remembering this instance in last week of march we had launched this particular program called margadarshi with the basic objective of uh, providing uh, lots of information to the students uh, in two sets set 1 we are supposed to cover up the topics related to your board examination and set 2 related to the various options and choices that you have post completion of your 12th examination so if you remember we had uh, ca gopal krishna bhat the founder of trisha group of institution and professor aditya from tapmi uh, who were part of the uh, Uh, launching ceremony and uh, we had lots of lots of discussion the other day followed which the first episode we had uh, last week wherein uh, we spoke about uh, how to strategize your second pu board examination uh, we had the presence of ca gopal krishna bhat sir and professor vijay rao mm-hmm. from anand tirtha pu uh, college from udupi where we discussed subject wise pertaining to commerce and science each subject uh, we went on to understand how we can strategize in your examination and now we are getting into the specifics and to begin with uh, we thought we would discuss about uh, the tips and strategies to crack english as a language because uh, the common feedback that we all receive these days it is considered as a, a non priority subject so i don't know uh, we have our uh, uh, guest speaker today who will throw more light on this i am uh, uh, very much pleased to welcome professor indureethi the english lecturer and the principal of uh, trisha vidya evening college from udupi on behalf of all the viewers i am extending a warm welcome to you ma'am good evening sir good evening ma'am i made the statement uh, that you know in any of the, uh, the second pc students when i meet mm. uh, be it commerce or science uh, when you talk about the subject they only pick up the core subjects the core sure. subjects of commerce sure. and if you talk about science they pick science. up pcmb and all that never ever we come to hear about this language yes. uh, is it considered as non priority is that negligence still there among the students what is your views on this huh. Mm, good evening viewers actually and uh, nice to talk to second pucs today uh, and as sir says uh, talking about english as a subject and you know is it of non priority uh, i think uh, when as you said when we talk about the core subjects commerce uh, there are four maybe four or five subjects and english i mean science there are four subjects like that and uh, people or uh, students have been focusing on to that and you know they are getting maybe we speak about all the four core subjects you go for 100 that's how we speak and when it comes to language i think it is t- given a you know a step back we are, we stay back a little we relax a little we don't study much we don't even in the colleges i think uh, the the pressure on the you know core subjects are more than uh, the the languages as such but then uh, you know if you look at it uh, as you go further down the line i mean you take up your professional courses you you go uh, you know it's called, called this called uh, market ready or job ready i think there the first priority is language wherein if you are True. not able to talk and you are not able to tell them that see i am really good at chemistry i am really good at physics or you know i am i am a good uh, marketing uh, you know uh, subordinate i can be uh, for that you need a language uh, be it uh, english or kannada or hindi Correct. i think that fluency is a must and should uh, somewhere down the line i think uh, pu board uh, makes it very easy for our students that you know because <coughs> are uh, given or uh, taught in such a way but as you go further down the line you know you take professional classes it's it's literally challenging that's why we see now that engineering colleges are you know asking uh, english lecturers to come and take extra classes communicative classes have mm. been introduced uh, i don't think that is required if we go from the core with the good language so of late uh, the importance has been being realized very much very much and it is required i think somewhere uh, the child should learn the language uh, as a child not as an adult like you and me are we missing this uh, passing this information to the students in the school and the pu level i think that's what the textbook looks very easy no mm-hmm. that's what they feel okay this much is done we are ready with this um, uh, what, what textbook this lesson okay english is done but communication when you come to communication i think in the in this lesson only i mean it's question paper only if you look at reported speech i don't think all of them are going to work on the same but mm-hmm. if you look at the uh, competitive examinations it is one of the content criteria which is going to come there and it's going to you know, challenge them it, it's a difficult part i think i truly agree with this last point of yours in any of these competitive examinations mm. you will definitely find english as one of the options Very you know be it cat yeah. mat or pgcet right so uh, yes i think uh, uh, my students are very much geared up to appear for the examination which is very much the countdown has already uh, begun and i'm very sure they've all geared up 
um, it's always you know in cricket i term it as slog overs the end moment preparation always matters a lot sure. so how do you want the students to tune up to the next few days especially taking english as a consideration right uh, i think uh, now it's just few days to go nine days maybe that's how they're counting 22nd is mm -hmm. the examination begins uh, and the preparations must be now hardcore into the core subjects or the you know the subjects which are very very difficult they would have put more in their cards for preparation for the core subjects but uh, advice would be uh, do balance it well with your languages also uh, do balance it you know to me the feel light to feel uh, better sometimes to feel comfortable sometimes a hindi textbook would do uh, a kannada textbook would do an english textbook would do and uh, even just reading the textbook i think when i come to the uh, point when i'll explain uh, what is this question paper and how it's going to go how mm. very important it is to read the textbook so you have to balance both of them now and read core subjects when it is you know in a peak energy level and when you feel little dejected go back to your uh, uh, languages read that work out maybe some questions and then start off you know continue with the preparation as such now no stopping anymore keep your health straight don't uh, tamper it don't go for you know yeah, heavy yeah i actually wanted food. to ask this question mm. because uh, quite often i have seen you uh, interacting with the students mm. especially on these matters you know mm. to keep them mentally fit yes. physically fit so what is your suggestion for so these young kids it. basically now don't be don't take off any extra things uh, <coughs> sleep normal uh, maybe little ext extended of night can you do now you can do now uh, till the last uh, the exam begins uh, maybe it is beginning on 22nd so you can like you know uh, somewhere around 2019th and you can go for an extended night or extended day your your uh, sleep sleeping hours can be reduced but shift immediately exam baruaga when it when the exams come you have to shift to the normal length of writing because you are writing your exams in the morning half they are writing right. so you should be really fresh and fine not in, not that you oh you know uh, uh, stayed overnight and then you're you're slogging your energy is not good all those things should not come Correct. now push yourself little more longer little more bit it's required uh, plus lot of water now because it's very humid out there it will it will drain you out very quickly mm -hmm. and very very light food uh, now i think uh, keep everything like this i'll study this and one party after may uh, fifth i mean may 8 uh, something like that after the examination you keep all the parties ready now have very very light food very very comfortable life. and and then you know little more meditation maybe sit up before starting your reading sit up for a while just breathe in see what is there what i have not done what i have done feel good about what you have done what is not done still can be covered you have enough and more time this is our the food part. aspect what do you meant uh, probably mother play a very important role now very much mm. because the kids are at home mm. and um, mother should not be over excited and give them all the yes, best yes. food Yes. So, any suggestions to your mother? True, I think parents, uh, your support is required very, very stri strictly. Uh, I think when we meet uh, PU students, parents now we are, we are meeting, and they are telling you know they are careless about their studies mm. and wo do dil la these kind of statements. Right. Please don't bring those statements now. You know that you, you know how much your child is going to study. Ah, uh, keep that mood up. Adhe model le orana kar kono. Yo odhi dre maga odhi time aite no ante hee ghelo the bit. Ni wota nae laach mane wota nae. Don't give that comparison Correct. don't stress them don't scare them i think it's time to go for studies it's a better option of course the food mm, you know for the moms keep them little uh, you know healthier food kodi sulpa tasty kodi sulpa kadme kodi so that they won't eat and sleep off uh, seriously maybe nonish can be avoided, avoided for few days uh, and little more liquid food juices mm, because of the weather maybe uh, hey give i mean of course it suddenly started raining True. so you have to balance both of it Absolutely. you give lot of ice and cold things and suddenly he'll start sneezing she'll start sneezing and you start worrying uh, and then uh, health issues like very small things if you find any discrepancy so sheet aitu solpa jora bantu take the precautions now only don't go to wait for after 3 days let us go to the doctor sari jora bandre matra hogo beda even the pains you know stomach pain they say all those things sadhya ke mane maddu tagondu you can comfort them aram se just look after them neatly now don't give them stress i know you guys are parents are most stressed we agree of course i think elder manelli the parent makkalu odoga parents ge stress irutte so maybe new or jothe irudu be there with them be tell them that see this is your limit do little more maybe better results will come relax then i think that's the only way to go great yes uh viewers i am also reminding you that uh, this is a live phone in program so uh, the numbers of us is being displayed in your screen 
if you have any questions to take up with my speaker you feel free to uh, please contact us and uh, we would be more than happy to uh, answer your queries sure. ma'am getting into the specifics now mm -hmm. uh, could you throw some light on the question paper pattern of the english subject right so this time i think i've been hearing this uh, question paper english question paper has <coughs> become uh, uh, student friendly this is what is the statement we use ah. Uh, so It's what is happened? It, it is. What has happened is there were literally fourteen units, out of which they have removed four units, and these four units uh, teachers know how difficult it was to you know uh, teach them the uh, these uh, lessons and that. So I think uh, uh, this time it is not exposed to you at all. You don't know these lessons, so that is kept aside. I think lessons are like I'm not going to read all of them. Lesson four, lesson eight, lesson nine, and uh, lesson fourteen. I suppose what is the last one, last poem. So two. two lessons two prose and two poems have, have been you know discarded keeping this aside 10 units are only there out of this your focus is uh, your question paper pattern if i can come back to uh, the question paper is divided into two halves prose poetry uh, which is going to take 50% of the marks okay. and then grammar uh, which will take another 50% of the marks you have two textbooks uh, streams and springs and streams that you know so one book will have 50 50 marks so the other book will have 50 marks the so grammar they have not made any changes i think they have given you of course this is the because of corona you the, or the corona effect i think I, i hear that first two months they did not have you did not have your uh, classes it was online classes which is going on so uh, they will be friendly obviously the paper paper will be uh, student friendly uh, of course these four papers are removed and then more options are given if i can talk about prose now Uh, pros with the ten units, I think you have uh, one more question only. There are eighteen questions which are given, out of which you are supposed to attempt for twelve uh, questions only. Uh, so there are a lot of options which are coming in. Like uh, see, when when we teach you uh, Romeo and Juliet, uh, there are maybe somewhere around eight to ten questions which is which is a should and must. Uh, you know, when when you talk about who is a yonder lady, or when you talk about uh, uh, you know how she how. what's it juliet uh, describes romeo's uh, presence out there out there all these sentences or words are the the one mark questions which are which are looked into so uh, every lesson has lot of one mark questions that is why i think uh, in the beginning also i told textbook reading is a should and must make it make it fun reading make it fun reading have a pen or pencil in your hand have a marker in your hand and go on underlining okay this is a question possible this is a question possible it's going to give you lot of one mark ki it will help you out Be uh, of course there are a lot of choices now 18 questions only 11 12 questions only you are supposed to answer okay so this is first one mark question what you have in the prose and then there is four mark question this four mark question is always challenging thought sir um students uh, you know how to write for those uh, 80 to 100 words anta kelthare okay. they will ask in the mm -hmm. question paper and it's always we don't know where to stop, stop. the 80 to 100 mm. words uh, our uh, I mean, there are two categories if i can categorize now there are two categories of students who are just trying to just pass the english paper and the ones who are really scoring somewhere around 98 99 we have seen papers like this mm -hmm. so for both of them the the very uh, the, the tension is where do i stop where do i start or where do i stop and so four mark question crux is that you write to the point don't overdo i think too dear if i ask you to write the lesson uh, lesson number 2 if i ask you to write a four mark question i think you will not stop almost for one and a half page that's a criminal <laughs> waste of time <laughs> yes that's really <laughs> literally horrible it is so you should know this question what am i supposed to attempt make pointers and keep and uh, if you have time at you know if you feel really you should work on if you are working for your rank this is a should and must that you have mm. to write and study the points and see that it is coming down to 3/4 of the page for those who are really finding it difficult come to half a page 10 to 15 lines we call it or 3/4 of the page you come an ideal answer with enough quotations at least one or two quotes for connected to the question one or two quotes connected to the question and conclude it with with you know very neatly decently you clo close it for 3/4 of a page and leave the remaining you know uh, what you call lines out there go to the next page and write the next question so this is the four mark question what we are looking at uh, there are again here i think this time that they are asked, they are giving you more questions you are supposed to write only eight questions so uh, eight threes are 32 somewhere around this is i mean eight fours are 32 that's what we are looking at so this is the this is a mark criteria for four mark question now when we go for valuation where what we see is we tend to give you four mark four marks out there so you are you know if you are a, a good caliber student like you are 
your target target is uh, all four hundreds in your course subject and if you are looking at this particular english four mark question at least three should be full four mark so your bank should be now of course you have lesser lesser lessons to prepare for there right. are only four poems to look at and remaining are lessons so your bank naturally should be at least four questions should be full and the presentation should be neat keep a handwriting keep a very very legible handwriting good handwriting is very much appreciated but legible also will do literally will do quotations and then continue the same thought for all the eight eight questions now one more thing happens sir actually first two questions they will write very royally aram mm. se they will write and then when they come to seventh eighth question ha the there is no time to you know right. uh, catch up uh, i think time cri- time Manish. criteria i will i will share it at the end as to right. how are you supposed to you know go with your question papers and but all the eight questions need to be given same priority absolutely uh, same uh, dedication because i always call this uh, your second puc papers no all these six papers are masterpieces they should be excellently presented that is this is a you know bench press for you next you're going to go in for your professional co- uh, you know uh, courses so this is the last criteria the last certificate it will be creating created very beautifully in the papers when it goes to the invigilators they should feel good about it and pros if i can continue the pros is uh, next part is the six mark question here also uh, again the four lessons have been removed i think uh, our, my lecturers would agree uh, that you know the, when when the lesson uh, that everything i need to know comes in the fourth uh, six mark question mm-hmm. it is so uh, so difficult for us to value because students will not write what is required and they will attempt we we keep telling them attempt maadi you will get marks but answers will not be that good so there are few lessons which have been avoided other ones i mean one or two of them at least would be, would find themselves in the six mark question that means actually if we remove those question do those lessons your options are easier this time your option for six mark question is easier this time there also will be one poem and two prose will be there so try to attempt poem this i think uh, roman juliet is also part of poet poetry part it is as well as i think this time heaven if you are not if, if you are not there on earth this is a lesson which has been focused upon but only not enough content is there so six mark question if you are looking at you supposed to write two pages completely with the same thought and idea and expression of as i told you for the four marks Uh, maximum quotations uh, maximum expressions uh, in idioms and phrases we talk about it will which will come for your grammar pick those words and try to put it everywhere uh, you know in your answers and underline them uh, underline the key note key sentences key words and amatra underline madi so that we can connect it uh, i mean value it as give they can connect it easily and they can give marks right this is how the six mark questions would question you know uh, would go next half was yes i'll can stop at during the yes. break so I, i had told you prose and poetry will have 50 marks questions Correct. so that's how the textbook one book will go and the second one is a grammar portion where 50 marks are taken uh, here also they it's it's divided equally in the difficulty level and then the students finding it easy some places some places we need to be little smarter uh, you know to get the right answer and get it done so they need to work uh, on the grammar portion where they know very well let them work little more strongly where mm-hmm. they don't know maybe they need to you know smartly complete it so that not very many marks are lost Correct. i think when i explain the grammar portion completely i'll come back to the crux of it once again right. so this is how the pattern goes 50 marks for the prose and 50 marks for the grammar right. uh, in the grammar section there are they are, they are uh, bifurcated again grammar i think passage is a one which uh, which is very easily uh, students can take marks upon whereas uh, other side i think reported speech is a quite ch- challenging one you you'll have to really put your head out there and really work on the uh, practice little more uh, uh, i think the pattern is uh, the uh, i mean uh, 50 marks is distributed 5 marks 3 marks like this the ma- one mark questions are distributed here in the grammar portion uh, uh, this is a pattern this is how the pattern is going to be for the examination Great. research Yes. Uh, these days uh, the common trend followed by the students that uh, they tend to refer a lot of old question papers hmm. uh, do you suggest that or do you find any differences hmm. uh, you or you feel it's getting confused uh, you know better not to refer or you want them to refer it True. i think okay. there may not be much differences when it comes to grammar and other things exactly no this gives them a lot of confidence yes actually this is what is a suggestion for the students mm-hmm. what you're supposed to be doing is like uh, even for the prose Uh, and the grammar portion refer back to i think when i came here mm-hmm. uh, i was digging into what was there you know what had come 3 years back 5 years back okay. this is how the preparation would go 
uh, that you know teachers would literally look at all those question papers previous years question papers and uh, i had students i think little uh, last year i have lost touch with these you know being in touch with second few students otherwise i had students who would literally sit and sit and you know map a five years question paper they Lovely. would come out telling ma'am this is a possibility of next year's uh, you know chapter mm. i mean subjects i mean sorry chapters not the questions correct but this this is a, this is a possibility that this unit will come this unit will come so it is very much visible and open it's like a trend analysis ha huh, they do <laughs> seriously they do and i think now it is because the generation is like that they are supposed to be doing this kind of analysis True. instead of writing uh, studying all these 10 units and you know uh, digging yourself into all the textbook content and all the grammar portion it is better you go back to now i think uh, um, uh, one is uh, if you are looking at udpi around here our um, udpi uh, uh, english forum is there lecturers forum is there we give a question bank which is mm-hmm. a compilation of all these uh, you know possible questions of oh, one particular good. chapter plus compilation of all the previous years question papers almost 5 years question papers we have put this is one booklet <coughs> most probably uh, students have access to that yes in and around would be they they have it i Great. think in mangalore also they must be getting it Great. this one book should really help you out that you take ho- get hold of it and work it out completely once sit with the questions sit with the you know grammar portion and sit and work it out this is one way and second one is like if the book is not available second thing is uh, we have our uh, uh, pu board uh, portal is there wherein uh, you know they have given very very strategically they have given chapter wise subject wise i'm sorry uh, unit wise <coughs> questions uh, even grammar portion they have covered with lot of exercises so sit and work out the same <coughs> i think as as i when i end i'll tell you how to uh, merge that you know english with other subject or how to study uh, in that point i'll come out as to where it can be studied and where you can go you know you're, you're going to utilize these sources for your studies and but i think uh, guru sir as i tell you uh, however much you pref- you know prepare yourself back to the question papers and come to this particular question paper one uh, a should and must is a textbook reading mm-hmm. because uh, textbook has almost 5 to 8 you know contents which that you means, find is missing in these students uh, i think they 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 what what they think is if i know the summary it is okay, okay. that's how they come if i know the summary i can write you can write four mark question six mark question you can write but there are so very many other spaces in you know, a places where the same text is utilized for i think grammar little as well as one mark question it like literally four to five areas same textbook is repeated so one textbook reading thorough textbook reading that's why i said uh, when you when you are se- really serious and tired tired of re- you know studying your core subjects no go back to the textbook i uh, have little munchies with you sit and have a pencil and just go on reading very very comfortably no pressure you i know it's a story you know the story of the gardener but you know did you know that uh, you know uh, uh, what what uh, ri- what kind of rivalry he had who was his real rival this is a kind of questions which would be answered you know when you underline that obviously such questions would can be answered for the one mark i think this is what uh, i call it as nth moment strategies exactly see they have prepared well from the last 6 mm-hmm. or 7 months now it's a uh, time to strategize in the best of sure. the best possible manners yes great ma'am now subject as a whole as you said has been divided into two parts yes. one is the the prose and the poetry and the other one is the grammar yeah, course, so yes. getting into this prose and uh, the hmm. poetry which i think some of it you already covered yes uh, hmm. can you highlight what are those very important aspects from uh, the prose and poetry point of view and how do you know they strategize to memorize it or so that they will be able to present it well in the examination hmm. true so uh, coming to the prose part now the first 50 marks when we look at now uh, basically your uh, you know uh, what do you call the the crux of planning for the paper is now any more it's nothing like you are preparing you are learning english out of this textbook it is for the examination point of view we are not going to take a lesson and you know learn uh, what did you learn out of gardener what did you learn out of water it is not going to come you have you are straight away preparing for the examination now when you think in these ways in these in these lines when you are preparing for the examination uh, when again i think i, I had told you pre- previously only one mark question now how do you pin the, pin these one mark questions down is obviously you cannot sit with a summary and tell okay i know i can write you know all those 12 questions out there no you may not be able to so reading the textbook would be one strategy read one lesson to give two days gap read one more lesson and continue reading so this is for the one mark question and when you uh, you know when you attempt these questions i think uh, in the question paper only it has been told 
you are supposed to write either a word or a sentence or a phrase or a sentence this is what they say so when they are asking for a word write only one word that much is enough you don't have to write a sentence you know full sentence and then this word and then you underline the word and keep you are literally wasting time don't do that write a word means it's a word it is more than enough they're going to give you one full marks out there ah, now there is one more issue you know when you write a word and you don't know the spelling of it uh, i think there is a, a simple as you know the, the word the dear uh, this dear word is d e e r or d e a r so if you don't spell it right there is a possibility that you may not get the answer you know marks there so you have to be very specific specific with what you are writing and write the correct thing now for this do you have to write and study please do it now if if it is a spelling i don't know and if i have to correct the spelling before writing the examination yes do the right you know do that practice and get the right word out there if it is a phrase write two two words only or you know half a sentence write only so much and when they ask you for a you know complete sentence write the whole sentence out there nothing more nothing less you don't have to write three sentences out of which one sentence is answer no you are wasting time so first 12 answers let it come into one place only i think as i uh, finish when when we talk about the Uh, how do you write the papers i will talk about it but then let it come very neatly in one space one place wherein all the 12 answers are seen now what happens is sometimes okay you forgot about one question like fifth question answer you do not know so what do you do you leave the space out there you please don't do that you know you go to the next uh, two three answers you wrote a four mark question and then you suddenly remembered after writing the fourth you know four mark question you remember this answer and then you write there okay uh, for fifth question first main fifth question answer don't do this because uh, it's of course the, your uh, evaluator is also human you know they they also have you know little on the they have to check their patience la you don't check their patience you go write in the right place so that they go on ticking and they they have to write marks out there so when they write okay 1 2 3 4 5 they go like that the five they have to leave it blank they go somewhere they do the correction and then they come back write the marks for the five they may not do it if they if they misses again your revaluation all those headaches will be avoided so write in one place only write all the one mark questions very very neatly and write very very specifically and if i come to four mark question now, i think i have told enough and more in the beginning only but then if i can add on uh, uh, strategically work on one or two basic lessons which you know you know very well now obviously there are 14 questions which are going to come and out of which you're supposed to be writing eight questions only so this obviously means that uh, you know your preparation is for the 14 questions and some lesson i mean all the lessons one or two questions you know it very well and strategize your answer your answer should be typically you know uh, it's not like beating around the bushes they ask you some specific questions you have to answer it straight up there then and there and complete it no oh, you know how did how did romeo glorify juliet's beauty and uh, now this is one more thing you know when you come to the uh, the the question answers uh, our fascination is if they are writing romeo and juliet uh, it's that you know if you are able to write that answer very very methodically with one or two quotations of romeo's dialogues uh, we appreciate it because you know at this age the child is quoting shakespeare uh, that is really appreciable so if it is that your question paper which is very likely that this time your question paper four mark question one question will be of romeo and juliet prepare well for romeo and juliet and go and present it very well <coughs> with the quotations so that the first impression comes out very nicely and i think i had told previously all this eight questions go first first 12 questions are in one page all the eight questions let it come you know side you know, subsequently next next all the eight pages which should be you know filled with all the eight questions so that again evaluators find it very easy and now here why do i keep on telling evaluators uh, when i teach the students i tell this okay now take for example you have written your paper and like you know you've done okay you feel you have done very well my question is can you you know bear the challenge of the evaluator who is evaluating your paper at 4:30 in the evening mm-hmm. point is like 5 5 o'clock we are supposed to close we are going to get some error on 30 papers to evaluate and when i get a paper at 4:30 my patience level is little on the lower side i mean very natural it is it's not like i am complaining my evaluators are b- bad they are excellently well they are always friendly with the humans and over it of course they are i think even I, we do that you know i go to mangalore i have to come back to udpi so my in a hurry i'll be doing the correction not to miss the marks we have our heads to take care of it anyway but then you know what is my patience level and what is your paper how is your paper so if my you know if it is that 
four thirty if your paper is in my hand i can i evaluate with a little comfort that's that's how the thought would be then you would make it a again i told you you would make it a masterpiece so right. make a very beautiful presentation <coughs> this is what happens for the four mark questions i think this time <coughs> sorry we are looking at uh, sunny morning questions four mark questions be prepared for that uh, maybe we are looking at voter uh, few more questions would be coming so focus on that i think as i told you if it is 14 questions which will be there obviously it is one or two questions from the uh, your teachers would have told <coughs> obviously in, in a, every time when we take a chapter or or a unit we'll tell you this is a possible important questions and that so okay. they would have touched upon same thing you prepare and go you please don't go there and prepare your answer or build your answer i think some of us do that the students do that they feel uh, you know you are preparing for your pcmb so very ardently or your <coughs> commerce core subject so very so very strongly that you don't have time for english but you will not be able to get that you know excellent marks you may cross over 80 85 to 90 90 plus if you need you need to be very specific with your answer so the next 50% covers about the grammar aspects yes. a quick question to you uh, out of the 100 marks uh, Uh, paper, the grammar is the one which is most scoring. Hmm. Yes or no? Yes, actually. Is it also the aspect where lot of students go wrong? <laughs> yes or no? Yes. Now that's very interesting. Exactly. Now, <coughs> when you know that this is a scoring aspect, why do students perform so miserably here? I'm sorry to use the word, but that's the fact. True, true. So I think uh, I should add on from you, and uh, I mean they talk about grammar, how it is, and uh, uh, our uh, comfort zone is the textbook. Mm-hmm. we sit uh, sit and read the lesson and we we feel comfortable okay fine i am ready for the examination grammar is an aspect which is if you work little more extra mm-hmm. like maybe four or five pages extra it's literally you are going to get you know 20 30 marks more it is that easy but but you know none of us the poor uh, that's a sad fact put. when so you are aware that you can crack this mm, why don't you what do is the missing link true so let me just talk about what happens and how are you supposed to continue with the grammar portion <coughs> now the first question which comes is a passage passage take it from me uh, i have seen lot of competitive examinations you know students right. who are taking competition ex- competitive examination this is students this is the easiest question possible in the in the second pure question question paper and don't i mean take it from me this also that you will not find such easy questions in any other competitive exam Absolutely. after this so maybe to to you know to feel good or to feel right about it don't ever you miss answers for the passage so read the passage comfortably so when do you read the passage i think we have you know our students have 3 hours plus 15 minutes for reading okay. so you will get your question paper 15 minutes early you read this passage and see where the answers are of course you are not supposed to write anything on the question paper so don't jot it down or something of course you, what you can do is you can use the other end of the pen you know the back end of the pen and you can make a crease out there which which you can use later on to understand okay this is a place where you know the answer was possible and the passage basic thought is read twice once you read to understand the content Uh, it is required even for the uh, you know uh, pronouns which you, which is going to come at the end of your question paper uh, plus now you have to read so that you understand as well as do the second reading so that you are searching for the answers normally there there should not be a mistake in getting these 10 marks even the meekest the, the lowest person who feel okay i don't know english i don't understand what is the passage somewhere you can dig around the answers and you can you can you know write the right answers out there and one more challenge you have here is you are supposed to write it in i think it will come a sequence a to j like that it comes you have to write it like that only again a uh, uh, you know thought to give you know to keep in mind is please don't write half of the passage answers here and write the half somewhere else please don't do it you leave a line you leave space out there and continue but never would you you know take the half into some other page and do it and i think some of us uh, students are very smart they'll write the answer here and they'll uh, write, repeat the answer once again somewhere else if the invigilator is you know i mean sorry if the evaluator is angry he can actually cut down both the both the places and tell this is invalid so mm. be very very sensible enough to write only once you write i think uh, in if you if you prepare sensibly you don't have to work hard if you prepare smartly and sensibly 40 marks is aram se gettable uh, i think i'll come to it at the end of the session when i talk talk about it so passage is easy to go take full marks don't miss out anything then we are looking at poem this time 
uh, poem there are two questions which are going to come and poem poetries are already there in your grammar book read some of the poems or read all of the poem once and get the meaning of it and go to the examination and find out you know which is more familiar to you and accordingly you answer i think it's a direct question which is going to come to you so it's easy for you to go for it so even this three marks is very easily gettable passage and poem don't miss at any cost prepare well and go read well and go uh, of course passage is obviously you're going to read there in the examination only poetry read and go so it will be easy for you and then we are looking at right form of verbs which is a you know, um, passive way of writing uh, the answers uh, little tricky but if you read the textbook i had told you reading the textbook read the textbook you don't have to you know put your grammar out there it tanashtake barutte this is a question this is a statement which you have seen in the textbook and the same answer you will be writing it's very easy i think uh, uh, not to lose marks here you have to look at reported speech uh, i would say is a little on the challenging side uh, i don't know why maybe because we have not given it to you in the second pc i don't know whether it was there in the 10th standard somehow it reported speech you find it difficult uh, uh, crux here is that's what i said no uh, as sir was asking grammar is easy and why do you lose marks crux here is go for f- full 5 if you are looking for 98 99 if not at least 3 marks out of this reported speech is a student must and you know we have our lessons uh, um, sunny morning uh, water two dear from here only the questions would come so focus on to more of these questions do little more practice you know uh, get hold of the questions i think we told no uh, sources are there old question papers are there your your uh, uh, board has uh, our uh, uh, forum has question banks all these question banks or question papers there would be the source wherein you get hold of this reported speech and put little effort this is the only thing i think in the grammar you're going to put your effort on okay and then you're looking at expressions again the textbook reading is a should and must linkers textbook reading is a should and must expression if i can add on one more thought expressions like this you're supposed to fill up two and they are going to give you three so see that two you know sentence i mean two words are filled one is easy to fill second one little more thoughtful that's why you read the textbook so expressions can be filled in linker is again a challenging thought linker they say is it is difficult reported speech nantra linker is a difficult point we say but do you know the i mean the reason for that obviously because you have not read the textbook read the textbook go again again on the textbook the linkers will naturally come you don't have to you know uh, dig dash there but if i can give you last moment thought again if i can give you see two linkers will be easy and it may not be the first two so look at the whole question dig out maybe the third linker or a fourth linker you are able to write two will be easy write those two and other two try to guess it will be easy for that continuation okay after this i think note making is very easy i'm not going to talk anything about it you're going you know don't lose marks here job application i hope you have finished preparing on the same five mark question i think job application when we talk about it's an easy way to get five marks prepare well and go prepare a neat resume and go very very you know a neat resume we need we don't need anything complicated and then speech writing is one challenging thought you have once again speech writing or report writing very few sentences i'll use here speech writing ige ondu athu eradu quotation haki neat agi format haki presentation mugisibidi when you go to report a speech you will have to analyze the report that is little on the trickier side for you guys so speech writing is a better option fine and the last thing coming down to pronouns pronouns i told you it will come from the passage so read the passage carefully pronoun is easy uh, again uh, uh, when pronoun baruthe it ant helidre adra mundina sentence ig ond question hakke what then you get the answer that what is the answer is for the it so this is how the presentation would go for the pronoun and the last one you know jumbled segment punadike sa textbook reading i think i have been <laughs> telling that 100 times now textbook, textbook reading, reading <laughs> is the student must it's it should be the That's mantra keyword for today exactly so have fun with the textbook kids just have fun with it you will get get lot of marks out there Correct. yes sir this Ma'am, is i always answer. tell you uh, it's not about how you start it's all about how you end it yes they have my students have put up brilliant efforts in the last few months hmm. now it's time to give it a perfect wrap True. um let us assume that they are in uh, their examination hall today mm. can you quickly sum up in 30 seconds like how would they you know want you to i mean how would you want them to present their answers true in a manner in which the evaluator really appreciates that exactly i think that that's a crux actually i had told you this should be your masterpiece this is one <coughs> thing you, you need to remember your paper is a masterpiece true. now what you have to do is first 12 question let it come in the first page don't exceed it to the next page 
as I told you, one mark is one word only, one word only do not exceed. So, one page all the 12 questions, next 8 pages, 8 questions and write as I told you half a page you can write, if you feel half a page write one more not a problem. But if you are looking for again 98 plus write 3 fourth of a page at least with 2 quotations. So, 8 pages would go and then you go for the 6 mark question which would take 2 pages around, around and then the grammar portion would add on to it. Now, uh, when you write letter writing, I want uh, this is a suggestion <coughs> write like this like one part here body of the letter and the resume on the other side do not make us turn the page we mm. may not come back to give you marks. So, let it be like this uh, this is a basic thought quickly I will I'll, I'll, you know, give you the time frame what it should be and mm. your 12 mark question should take for you take you 5 to 8 minutes only do not exceed your Perfect. 4 mark question would take minimum 8 to 10 minutes do not exceed if you feel Perfect. the time is going stop it there go to the next question if you have time come back once again your 6 mark question would be uh, 10 to 12 minutes you you may, you may say 15 minutes 10 to 12 minutes would be more than enough keep it neat keep it crispy do not overdo it uh, the word is I think um, uh, you know, the, the, the very basic thought is the key word should be underlined key word should be kept focused on the 6 mark key. And then the remaining thoughts only all the grammar portion all the one mark questions would take 5 to 8 minutes letter writing would take somewhere around 5 to 8 minutes speech writing would take somewhere around 10 to 12 minutes this is how the plan should go and now when I tell you like this no 2 minutes 3 minutes 4 minutes uh, are you going to ask me did you check yes students have checked they have kept their you know timers on in the preparation uh, papers preparatory papers and then they have come back telling that this is a you know, neat way of going and the last thing not to forget please check your answer sheet at least twice before giving it to your uh, invigilator. Yes. You need to check it once again to check there is <coughs> nothing wrong out there as I told you one mark see the spelling whether it is dear or dear. Okay. Fine. Great. Yes. Ma'am, uh, that was a great uh, interaction with you. I am very sure there are a lot of takeaways for the students from this session. Yes. We have come to the fag end of the event. Yeah. Uh, your final messages and uh, good wishes to the students. Yes. So, students, I think uh, uh, we are excited that the English paper at least it will be very, very uh, student friendly. <coughs> Mm -hmm. And uh, everybody, I think uh, your PU board, be it your college, all of us are looking at that that magic number, you know, 100 percent right. result. And I think in English, when you get 100, your uh, lecturers are the most happy ones uh, because it is not there. I think uh, if I can remember, I mean remind you now, your target would be, you know, what is your target? That 400 core subjects is 400 for toppers, I am telling. Plus, I think 98 in two, two, sub, uh, two languages. That is where it is come down <coughs> to the magic number is 596. And if it is, you know, oh no, it is so very difficult for me, I just want to clear my papers. Minimum 210 is a target actually. So, this target should be in your mind. I think it should have been by now, if not, create it now. Visualize looking at the target every time. If you are really, you know, uh, going in for a rank, look at your name, your number in the newspaper. Visualize it, children. I think uh, Guru Sir is the one who always keep telling. I have seen it happening, and the, you, uh, it, it's going to happen. That's what is, you know, experience talks actually. The power of visualization. Yes, yeah. very much so. So it's possible that you see the <coughs> number in the papers, in your, you know, uh, score sheets out there, and and great. do well. So have great energy, prepare very well, and do well in your exams. Yes. Excellent ma'am. I think we had one of the finest discussion here. We started off well with discussing about uh, the food habits, mm -hmm. the nth moment strategies. Yes. Then we went on to cover something on the prose and the poetry. Sure. We spoke about grammar. We also spoke about the question paper pattern and how do we have to strategize in appearing this three hours examination. Yes. I think that's a perfect wrap for uh, today's session. Yes. I am very sure all my students and parents out there had a great uh, learning time in the session. Uh, let me remind you, Margadarshi is coming up with lot many events in the coming days. Uh, keep watching this space, the best is on its way. For all the news and entertainment, keep watching Daiji World 24 by 7. Thank you.